Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me here. It's um, a lovely sunny through the windows day here in Lincolnshire in the UK. It is very blustery. It's, um, it's beautiful and bright out the window and the clouds are all low but white and fluffy and above them is beautiful blue sky but it's a bit chilly. It feels a little bit like well, early spring rather than, you know, moving on through spring. So yeah, it's definitely, um, that wind is definitely cooling us down. What's the weather like where you are? I know some of you are having it hot, hot, hot now. Um, so it's Masterboard Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, I am going to create a Masterboard and then let it dry. And then in the same film, come back and embellish it. So you'll be able to see a lovely embellished Masterboard. And if we get a chance, we'll make something with it too. Now. Um, I am sitting fussy cutting because I overdid it. Well, I don't recall overdoing it, but um, my leg says I overdid it yesterday. <laughs> it's sore and it's swollen and even though I've rested it all night long, um, yeah, it's still not happy. So it's a fussy cutting leg up kind of day uh, for me today. So all I'm doing is this one film today and then back to the fussy cutting. So um, that's what made me think about these. I've just been looking at all my um, kit pages that I've got, spare kit pages. So this one is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Dooda. I've had it a long time. Um, I did make the journal, oh, must be 18 months ago now at least, if not more. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm thinking about making it again for somebody. I've got I've got somebody who wants a journal made. So yeah, um, so yeah. But there's a lot of lot of fussy cuts with this one. I mean, loads. I've already cut cut one page up. Not fuss, fussy cut some of it, but there are still you know flowers and birds and. You know all those beautiful things the bird cage that, uh, that tina puts in so um i just brought a whole one to show you i'm thinking i'm only going to use this this one page um i'll finish cutting it off while the masterboard is drying um so yeah it's going to be like a, you use up some of your um either digital ephemera or bits of paper ephemera that are lying around you know i always have little boxes full of them um but because these are from a kit they'll they, I won't have to worry about them matching. The theme will be perfect. They are quite light though. They're not the dark grungy kind of, although they would go on a grungy background, no problem. So I had to think a little bit about the papers I was putting down. Now I brought some out of my um, scrap box that you'll have seen time and time again, but they are all a little bit dark and on the grungy side, uh, not too bad. And some of them will go in there, no problem. But I wanted something to lighten them up. And going through my um, digitals, I found this page, which maybe looks to you, I don't know. We'll try and get it close. It might look to you like it is just a plain page, but it has got a very, 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 oh, that's a good shake I've got going on there. A very um, faint green pattern on it. Um, too faint when I printed it out for anything I wanted to use it for, which is why it's, it's sat in the folder. Well, maybe that one's a little bit easier to see. And sat in the folder and sat in the folder so obviously it's scrap as far as I'm concerned so yeah if we put some of this down amongst some of that it might just lighten it a little bit and I have brought I'm not digging in here to show you anything this is just paper to stop me <laughs> um, gluing the edge of the second page I have brought um, one of my Elmer's glue sticks that I'm trying to get used up which I bought okay can't remember how many of them I bought but I just didn't get on with them um, because I am going to glue the whole page just to get it tacky so I thought that that would be a good use for this and then um, I'm going to glue the pieces I put down with my uh, scotch glue stick okay so it's um, it's not as bright as in here as it could be it I've come from the bedroom which is at the back of the house my craft room here is at the front of the house so the back of the house gets the sun first thing in the morning and most of the day so my kitchen is at the back of the house as well so it's lovely to sit at the uh, it's a kitchen diner so it's lovely to sit at the dining table or kitchen table whichever you want to call it um, in the sunshine there and the front room is um, cool the lounge living room whatever you call it and then in the afternoon well late afternoon at the minute the sun goes round to the front uh, which is here on this in this room as well and that's when it starts to get warm so I am um, think that's perhaps why I'm feeling chilly because I've been in 
in my bedroom resting with my leg on the bed and uh, yeah the sun is full on on both windows it's lovely and um, I've moved through into here where it, you know it's beautiful sunny through the window but there's no sun actually hitting the window and coming in okay I've got a children's book that I'm gluing on so that should <laughs> um, yeah, prevent me from worrying about what's written on it I hope so everything's good so apart from a swollen poorly leg and to be honest I haven't had many setbacks so I know what you're all thinking that I've just done more than I should have because Neil's not here but I don't think I have didn't feel like I had but sometimes it's hard to tell when you're on your own Ooh, we definitely need wipes um you know because Neil said to me last night what have you been doing I said well I don't I haven't been doing anything much and he looked at me like he didn't believe me um but I was thinking you know when you perhaps going up and down stairs when you're on your own you don't Gosh, that's got a lot of glue on it. I need to be a bit less, less um, generous with the glue. Yeah, maybe you just don't notice so much. Whereas if he was at home, he'd be saying to me, "Yeah, you know, that's enough now. You've been up and down too many times." Or if he was at home, he would be <laughs> he would be going up and bringing me the things I want and putting things away and what have you. So I don't know. All I know is today I am resting. So at least with this wonderful craft, I can sit. I have been able to sit all morning without being bored because it is actually lunchtime now here. Um, yeah, just sorting out my digital printing and um, for, uh, fussy cutting. I haven't had to resort to TV or I've watched a few... Um, YouTube videos in the background uh, so yeah plenty to do the only the only problem with this sitting and fussy cutting is you want to get up and use it all. and uh, yeah when my legs poorly even sitting at the desk here it's not um, it's not advisable you know for long I'm all right for short periods of time uh, the problem is once I get sat down time just time just goes I expect you know what that's like I think I'll just go and have 20 minutes and then I'll move and then an hour and a half or two hours later I'm, I've got a pain in my leg and I'm like oh no what am I doing I should have moved or I get a bit of a twinge and I think in a minute in a minute in a minute <laughs> and I still don't don't move any quicker so I'm my own worst enemy I guess out of um, this big piece has been kicking around for long and long enough be nice to have rid of this one well be nice to use this one shall we say it's a bit harsh wasn't it being rid of yeah so i have finally got my etsy shop open yay and i have i haven't put much in it yet <laughs> i haven't all i've put in it is some fussy cut um fairies um and there'll only be three packs of those i think and one's gone already so um but yeah i'm hoping when I've done this and had a rest that I will be able to shall we put some music paper on? Um, perhaps list a couple of things that we've made just recently uh, in the Etsy shop and see if I can make a bit of space in my in my room <laughs> because it is yeah that's upside down but I don't care yeah we're still um we're still a long long way from sorted and organized in here i've kind of i got it usable so i put stuff you know in certain places so i could use it and i've tidied up a little bit and then everything stopped because <laughs> there's so much to do in so many places and the room is now usable but you know it's not uh, yeah it's a mess <laughs> i was trying to think of a nice way to say that but there's no there's no other way of saying it it's a mess you know if mum walked in she'd be like oh my goodness what's going on <laughs> but you crafters know it doesn't take much it doesn't take much to look like that but yeah I'm thinking <laughs> yeah I've probably got too high hopes here I'm thinking if I can get a few bits moved on through Etsy <laughs> that um yeah I might empty a shelf a half a shelf something like that 
like I say, I've got a lot of books that I need to <clears throat> be using. I am. Um, I'm going to sit. I was going to today, but I'm not now. Obviously, I'm going to at some point when my knee will allow me. Oh, I liked that. Will that come up there? Just like that torn edge. No, nope, it's down. Double glue. <laughs> um, have a big piece of this in the middle. Um, yeah, I was thinking of taking one of the books apart and um, sewing it into just like envelope pockets that I put the Etsy stuff in when I post it. So that would be one one book off the shelf. <laughs> it would be in the Etsy box then in pages, but at least it'd be, you know, something moved along. But maybe it's, I've just thought about that. Maybe it was using the sewing machine that's made my knee. Hmm. Yes. I did have used it a fair bit in the last two days, I have to say. Hmm. That could well be better not tell Neil that. No, I hadn't thought about that. The thing is I can't just stop and rest it permanent even when it's bad because you know overdoing it makes it swell and you know, not moving it makes it swell so it's uh, it's striking the happy medium as in most things so I have got to keep moving a little can I get that grey piece in, do we think? Because we're grey all on one side then. Have some of that brown in. This, uh, this book is horrible to tear. It's really cheap, horrible paper as well. At least I'll be rid of this book when I've glued on it. But um, yeah, the, the glue that's holding the pages together doesn't doesn't want to separate, doesn't want the pages to rip. I know that's the whole point of the glue, but. <laughs> yeah. So this is nice. Pity you can't do this with your leg up. <laughs> I haven't tried it, but I know I couldn't because I have to press. You can't press on things when your legs are up, <laughs> bizarrely enough. Yeah, we'll have another piece of that. Um, yeah, otherwise I'd just be sat either on the sofa or thrown it on the floor now and it's fluttered. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and stretch and it is only under me but um, yeah, I don't want to hurt anything else. should have these papers over here really and my arms are constantly in front of you, aren't they? I wanted a piece of that, didn't I? It was smaller than that. So yeah, but I mean, fuss I've been fussy cutting for a good few hours this morning. I do enjoy it very much, but yeah, your fingers start to say, whoa, <laughs> that's enough of that. So you have to, you have to alter what you're doing. Otherwise I could, again, I could sit and fussy cut all day because it's just, it's just looking at all the beautiful things, isn't it? So. And then again, there's all the things around the house that want doing that you're looking at. <laughs> So I was laid in the bedroom, it's beautiful, laid on the bed, the sun was coming through, um, fussy cutting, yeah, not having a bad time really, <laughs> but then I'm, I'm looking at the windows and thinking, oh my, the raindrops have been on them, so it's obviously been raining, and they really are dirty, they barely could do with cleaning. And then of course, the bedroom needs in washing in, we haven't done that yet, because it's not on view, <laughs> it's going to be the one of the last things bizarrely enough. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if I'm going to spend time in there. Should I have pulled that off? Yeah, maybe if I'm going to spend a bit of time in there it needs to go up the priority a bit. It only needs emulsioning, you know, just to clean it up. Well, it needs needs wallpapering, but that will be me. I'm the wallpaperer. So that won't be happening for a while. Um, is that the only piece I've got there? No? Yep. Right, don't make a meal out of what the last piece is going to be, Denise. I'm going to, aren't I? I keep picking the same bit up. Hmm. Oh yeah, music. If in doubt, go with some music. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just let this one, this one dry. I'm going to do another, at least one more. 
I'd like to use all these bits up so we'll see how far we get and then obviously I'll come back on as soon as it's dry you won't know it'll all be in one film and uh, put some of those beautiful things on it so I'm thinking I might oh, I'm stuck I might actually tear it out to dry that will be easier it's it'll be in the air more if you know what I mean while we do these two mm. the sun seems when I look out the window it's really really bright the sun seems to have gone off my window entirely I don't know why maybe there's a cloud above the house <laughs> gosh right bit of purple so this it's Sunday when I'm doing this it will go up Monday because it's Masterboard Monday and um, oh yeah I've put all the uh, Masterboard Mondays into a playlist now so if you ever want to go back uh, and, and watch one in particular if you're like I remembered so and so happening it will be easy to find and also if you've just joined me or you've missed one or two they'll all be there the, the Masterboard Mondays and any any extra uh, videos that I did with the makes from the Masterboards that we made on Masterboard Monday yeah yeah so it's Monday uh, and Neil is when you see this Neil will be off work on the Tuesday so Tuesday will be well it'll be the Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook group uh, postcard challenge um, but I, I think there will be two videos up again I think just because I didn't get well I didn't get very far I did I got a lot done didn't I um, with the Flower Fairy Journal but um, yeah I went on for an hour and there's still loads more to do so <laughs> so I'm thinking because I said to you I'll be back with it tomorrow um, and obviously I won't be because tomorrow is today <laughs> that's Master Board Monday oops what to do with my cloth there it is right that's, I'm going to put this grey piece down first and then it does get used and then I'll work round it I'll we'll put it in the middle. Keep starting at the edges, don't I? Yes, put it in the middle, Denise. It's strange it's the glue in that takes the longest amount of time. I like that I'm getting the... Uh, I'll just overlap it a bit. The um, inking done beforehand. Still liking that. Still worth it. It... Uh, that's a corner piece, so I'm going corner again. Yeah, it, it just keeps your flow going while you're actually um, creating. It's nice to not to have to stop. And it's a bit like fussy cutting in as much as I quite enjoy the process of sitting here beforehand, just, you know, spending 10, 15 minutes inking. Let your mind wander and look out the window at the clouds. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got my uh, got my pr my printer working. I think I told you that yesterday, but I can't remember. It's another dark one. Let's get you in the corner because it wouldn't work without um, my internet. And uh, yeah, I've got I've got <laughs> I don't know if to tell you this. I've got a thousand pages rolled over because I'm on HP Instant Ink that I really need to be using. So. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of printing over the next few days as well. I like to do it when Neil's not in because even on quiet mode, yeah, my print has a quiet mode. It's not very quiet. It's still quite noisy. It's got a life of its own. When it's not on quiet mode, it goes faster. It nearly takes off. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So uh, there'll be a lot of printing going off. I've already done some. I did some yesterday afternoon, and uh, yeah, I'm nearly at the end of my my paper. So I'm nearly off on Tuesday. We'll be off for more printer paper. I do get it delivered sometimes, but I find I can get it cheaper because um, I, I like the Kodak one. I can get it cheaper at the supermarkets at the moment than on Amazon. Well, I could. I haven't bought any for a while, so. I mean, supermarkets have gone a bit, uh, a bit 
price crazy haven't they so we'll we'll pop and see but and I've got my address changed <laughs> on various places we went and changed it at the bank and my HP Inc, my Amazon and all those things so we're getting through the jobs the next one for both of us is the driving license because you have to you have to physically go in person and I desperately want a new photograph on mine. I know everybody's driving license photograph is awful but mine is absolutely hideous. I really do hope I don't look <laughs> like that. Oh gosh I've never seen anything like it. So yeah it will be nice to have a better, can't be any worse that is for sure, a better photograph on my driving license. Um, oh, I hear people. Must be outside. There's nobody in the house. I'm here all on my own. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I maybe should have brought all the other scraps. Well, they are only just under my table, but you know, normally I'm like, well, I've got loads of scraps out and I don't use them. I've also, so I was telling you about the. Uh, the Monday Masterboard uh, playlist that I've created. I've also done one for the Flower Fairy um, makes that I've done this year. So I've, I've called it Flower Fairies 2022 because there is there is a playlist from previous uh, so, yeah. Flower Fairy makes. Yeah, so I'm hoping things things will be easier for you to locate now. Um, I'm getting a little influx of new new subscribers so they may want to go back and find some of those things and to be honest I sometimes want to go back so I was thinking when I made the flower fairies one I was thinking I can't remember exactly what I did last year I remember bits of it but I must go back and have a look and that's what made me think oh I'll have to troll through now whereas if I'd put them in a playlist um, and they are, oh, no, I did have a playlist, didn't I? I don't know where that thought came from. I did, I already had a playlist of flower fairies. Sometimes can't join up the dots in my head. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to use this up. I know it does look, it's not white paper, I promise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, masterboards are a good place for it because obviously it's going to be embellished within an inch of its life, I would guess. Or it can be. Some of the fussy ones are hard to embellish, aren't they? So maybe I'll be pleased of this when I come to embellishing. Right, is there anything we haven't got on there now? And there's a little piece. We've got that, we've got that. What's that? Yeah, two pieces. We'll have that. Oh no, that's a piece of that. I thought with it having something written on the back it was different but it's just the page edge strip. No, just this one then. So I'll put that one there and uh, shall I put another piece of music? Oops, use your cloth Denise. Yeah, oops. Well, that will give it some interest. The job has run away. An odd shaped piece of music. Yeah. So I am going to try and do a third one. I hope, like I say, if you're bored, just press that fast forward <laughs> and watch me do it quickly. Um, I'm just going to leave it running for those of you that, that like to see it. And um, yeah, see if I can get those last few bits on one. I quite like the muted colours actually. So I'll leave that one open like that because it doesn't need to come out. And yeah, this is the boring bit isn't it? Putting the purple all over it. My screen. Oh no. Did I pull it away? Could you not see that last one? I will be so annoyed with myself. Better. 
No, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Is that better? That's too far. Sorry guys, so sorry. I hope the first one that we did, the one that we're going to use, was all in, in view. I don't know, I think it's because I keep moving my chair because I just think I've got it right. You know, how zoomed in I am as to what, what size of the table I can use and then I go and blow it. Maybe I'll have to put some markers on the table with washi or something. That might be a, an idea, although how long they'll stay there, I'll sit and pick at them when I'm talking and not thinking about what I'm doing. Oh, I certainly went for it there with the glue, Denise, didn't you? Right, let's put some big pieces down and then see what we need. We might have to dig in the box for an odd piece, but we might not. Um, go in the middle. It's just I want to put the straight edge on the straight edge. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not a rule. It just feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, my fingers are getting sticky now. So if I put you on there, will you reach? Oh, made myself jump then. <laughs> I moved so quick. Oh, Denise. <laughs> yeah, I must say the house is lovely. The Not the house, the area is lovely and quiet. Do you remember before when I was at home? Well, and at my sister's house. How I was always hearing people and noises and... It's quite frustrating. It's very quiet here. Just, um, yeah. I keep calling him Mr. Next Door. I do know his name, but I don't know that I should be telling people names. So I'll keep calling him Mr. Next Door. Um, yeah, just getting used to he hearing him moving around. And I'm sure it's the same for him with us. Um, but yeah, we're getting used to it. Luckily, he's not a, a nice are we loud music kind of person because I have a feeling you know that we would hear it if he was and vice versa so yeah we felt lucky there I think um, in time to come the house could do with a little bit not a lot but a little bit of soundproofing from we're only attached on one side we're a semi but yeah, I don't think they went to town particularly with the soundproofing. I don't suppose they do, do they? Um, right, that's an end stop, I think, so that way. Get me. <laughs> yeah, I did study music at school for three years. Yeah. Not very much went in. I'm certainly not a musical person by any stretch of imagination. I just know little useless bits, but not much. Um, I'll put the dark one down. So this dark one is was a six by six paper. That, um, a six by six, yeah, paper from a pad. That has been floating around since before I moved from our bungalow, so yeah, time it was used up, definitely. I have to say, doing these regular every Monday, and I'm getting about three done every Monday, is, you know, is having a huge effect on the amount of scraps I've got lying around. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. So I'm just gonna keep going until nobody watches at all. <laughs> and even then I might, <laughs> just because, uh, yeah. Apart from the relaxation of it all, it's uh, it's lovely to have all those scraps down, definitely. And I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, non-kit uh, projects at the moment, so I haven't been using an awful lot of digitals, but that is going to change soon. I've got a couple of a couple of kits at least that are going to be uh, made. So yeah, we'll be creating scraps then. So I will attempt to, well, I'll be doing a masterboard as we go with some of the scraps so that I can use it in the projects, which is something I've learned to do. Um, but yeah, the uh, the masterboard Mondays, that is 
be a lamb, isn't it? Yeah, we'll help keep it down a bit, I'm, I'm hoping. I've still got a couple of ideas for things I want to make with master boards yet. I don't know if I said I was going that way with it, but I am now. Oh yeah, look, so we're nearly out. We'll put that piece up there as well. I've got a nibbled edge. <laughs> I wonder who did that. Oh, I nearly just... Could you see me? I don't know. <laughs> I nearly just glued straight onto the um, the book page, the glue page, without my piece of paper on it. Yeah. That's what they talk about, repetitive actions, isn't it? And your brain's not needed. <laughs> it was. It was needed. Yeah, so that's not bad. I've just got a little bit. Let's should we get that piece in there. Yes, let's use it up. So there's one little scrappy piece of um, music paper left from all those pieces that I cut up, tore up. Oops. And I'm thinking it might even. Yeah, it will. Might even go on there. It looks like there's one side not glued, but never mind so probably three or four pieces out of my scrap box oh that's not it that is the card that's it this little beauty what do we want to use hmm, let's put that out and see if we can oh what's this oh that's some of what we've already got in there oh yeah so they're the bits that i use for backing oh no that's thicker this is what we're after this is the one with the inked bits did i hit you oops I hit the microphone did i hit you then as in the camera and there are white bits what to you journal I don't think I'm ever going to put that on anything, am I? That'll be a nice piece to get rid of, so will that. To use up, not get rid of, Denise. Blue. And that looks... Nope. Nope. Oh, it's got a little flower sticker on it. Yeah, I don't want hundreds of little pieces, but I wonder if those will be enough. I think they might. Let's see. So, yeah, I don't want the square edge. Oh, sticky fingers as well now, so ripping. Ripping is a bit tricky. Oh, <laughs> yes, they're getting smaller. But still, two little pops of of blue might be enough. I'll put them down first and then those bizarre edges, some of them will be covered up. Left one square one on there. So there, that's Nanine's, one of Nanine's kits. That You're inked. Yeah, oops. You are and you are. And then I didn't know about using this circle up. There's a gold dabbed on it. maybe just a bit of it we'll see okay so what are we thinking yeah maybe i haven't got enough out a piece on there need a bigger piece really don't i but you can see how the scraps have gone down really but I'm, this bag was bulging wasn't it well there's a nice big gray piece um, yeah, when we first started this Masterboard Monday. Um, and now I'm, yeah, I'm struggling for scraps a little bit. Careful what you say, Denise. I'm not exactly struggling. <laughs> I just don't have so much choice as I used to. It will all change soon. It would help if I could make a decision, wouldn't it, instead of just... Let's 
that one's been kicking about a bit as well because I feel like it's a bit odd to me. So let's see. See if we can use a bit of that up. And again, it's a, the shape is probably putting me off as well. Now this is um, very fine copy paper, so perfect for what it's going to be used for. Okay, I've got my, the bin to the right of me and I've made a huge pile of rubbish to the left of me. <laughs> Tell me why I've done that. I don't know. Is that it? Well, this. I think that's inked. It is. Yep, so we're going to get rid of these little bits down here. Definitely. No, we're not, are we? What we're going to do, we're going to use them up. <laughs> Going to use these little bits up here so they're not kicking around in the. I can't even remember what I did now. Was it that one next? Yep. Yeah. In the bottom of the scrap bag. Wouldn't it be nice to empty the scrap bag and then start all over again? Hmm. Would it? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. This isn't a private conversation, you can join in. So thank you for talking to me in the uh, in the comments. I've been having a few chats with a few of you. It's lovely to hear from you, especially as it's been the Easter holidays. A lot of you have been out and about and had plans. So, right, what did we? Ooh. It's quite bright. That just have a bit of it popping out. That seems like a plan, doesn't it? Oh, I've certainly got rid of some book page today, <laughs> if nothing else. Yeah, maybe that should be my next focus. Book page. Which way were we going with that? Yep, that will do nicely. So is this our third? It is, yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Nothing going in the in the scrap box again for two weeks running. Nothing going back in the scrap box, I should say. Oops. What have I done with me? Cloth. Uh, never even noticed what was in there. Something about an oversized maggot. <laughs> no idea what book that is from, but we don't want that. Something castle chamber. Hmm. I don't even like that. I don't know what one is, but I don't like the sound of it. Goodness me. That's the thing about book page, isn't it? It never looks like a whale tail tab. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there isn't anything on there that's offending me. To be so careful with books, you really do. I'm thinking it might be one of the war books that Neil, has, you know, the SAS stories. I've never read anything with big fat maggots in it. <laughs> okay, that's three. So next time you blink your eyes, I will be back um, embellishing. Okay, so we're back and we are dry. So, um, yeah, I did what I said and sat and fussy cut some of these um, things from the, what are they? Embellishments or elements from the um, the page. The digital, that's it, that's what I was trying to think of. What I haven't done is inked any of them and I may want to, so um, I'll get my ink over here so I'm not constantly reaching. Um, yeah, I noticed I was a long way off to the right and a bit close to me. And I've changed the camera angle a little, so hopefully you'll be able to see now. Um, the edge wants trimming, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to put lots of these um, images down on here um, and then see how we go. So they're corners, maybe. I love this one. Let's ink it. It's like a mirror, but it's got a very faint you see um pattern picture inside the the mirror if you like 
frame. Okay, and I wondered about this great big one. Let's just put it on and see what it looks like. Now with these, I often cut off the banner pieces. Um, I've left them on, you know, I often cut them off when I'm cutting them out. I've left them off on here because I think they might add something to the um, to the piece. But yeah, if if I run out of room, I don't think we want anything text-like. No, if we run out of room, I can always. Oh, that's a lighter one. That's nice. Cut them off. <laughs> you know, are they interfering with anything? We don't want them interfering, do we? It might be nice on that darker. Mm. of course it depends what happens when we cut it up but we're not going to think about cutting it up now not sure about that one that might want to go on a different sheet um so gardening paraphernalia um writing piece of paper a note, garden note. We'll just put some down and then see see where our creativity takes us. To we'll put some of the big pieces on. Do we want that round piece? Oh, well, very much. No, we'll save that for that one. These roses. Are they cabbage roses? That's what they look like to me. Clearly, will go anywhere. Um, uh, oh, this lovely blue label. I love this label. Something about blues. Yeah. So we'll put the flowers on last, maybe. Yeah, he's nice in the corner though. He's not going on last. He's going on now. <laughs> so the sun has started to come round. It's just popping through uh, my window at the edge. So. Yeah, it's warmed up in here a lot. Um, I've got a blue flower there. Yeah, so I, I'm warm now. It was a bit chilly earlier. Bird cage. I don't know what I want down here, but I want something. What about watering can? Hmm, what else have I got a bird? An urn. Yes, I like the urn. I don't know why I like to put things on the joints. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't always. Because I'm hiding them, aren't I? Do you think that's enough? I think that's probably enough. I just, there are birds. I don't think I want birds. There are flower fairies just sitting here, look. <laughs> There's another one of those. Yeah, quite like that. What about that? Shall we stick all that down? Whoops. As usual, my dobber does not want to stand up. That's it. Um. Yeah, I think I might just glue stick them down because they're they are just you know paper, digital paper after all. Oops, onto paper. Don't rip it, Denise, as you're gluing it. Oh dear. Yep. So it's continued to be a quiet um, afternoon here. I think I said it was quiet when I left you, which was seconds ago for you, but was actually where's my cloth gone? A couple of hours. <laughs> it's been drying a couple of hours, so yeah. I have been resting and I'm going to continue resting. Yep, I like that. Now, obviously, this is a master board with a theme because we're just using the one digital. But if, um, you know, a lot of people say to me, I don't know how you choose what you put down, how you make it work. You just, it seems effortless. 
um, to you this is a good way to get started if you're struggling if you feel you're struggling um, you know putting things together on a master board just find yourself a digital or if you don't print you don't have to print just find yourself um, a page from a book you know um, flower book or a bird book or any kind of book uh, illustrations in it and you know if the if the page if the images are all from one book the chances are they, they're linked so they go so you know you could you could do it from a book you could do it images from a children's book you know nursery rhymes things like that um, a butterfly book Oops. but yeah if you have if you have are able to download and print digitals if I don't want my cloth yeah it really is a good way to get yourself um, a cohesive master board while you uh, while you get a bit more confidence in yourself because that's all it is it is just confidence nothing more than that we had those two together I think didn't we And like I say, if it's too pretty to cut up, don't cut it up. <laughs> Just leave it. I do want to cut this up, obviously, otherwise I would have... Well, I may. I may by the time I'm an old lady <laughs> have pages and pages, uh, books and books and books full of collage pages. But I wouldn't be harming anybody, would I? But yeah, I do want to cut them up and use them. I am harming my floorboards. <laughs> did I ink that one? I can't remember. Don't think I did, but there's not much white showing on it, so there we go. We just get rid of a a blue page or two. There we go. So. I know you're probably missing the flower fairies today but it's just one day and then they'll be back like I say it'll be tomorrow afternoon when you see them well that is if it's afternoon now to you wherever you are it'll be the same time tomorrow you know if you're in a different time zone entirely it might be a little bit later than that but within the next what 30 hours <laughs> that's not too long is it for a fairy addict <laughs> it's just so easy it's just come together so easily i am going to put that over that join because i want to <laughs> as i say i often start to give you a reason why and then it's because I want to. What other reason is there? Can't believe we're nearly done. Well, it's eclectic. You might not want quite so many things on as I've oops, as I've put on there. You might just want a couple of your digital pieces and other bits from your stash. I just like to ring the changes each week. Yeah, and these bright colours are different to what we've been doing. Well, I know I've been doing flower fairies, but other than that, <laughs> the bright colours are different to, to what I've been doing recently. So that's always nice. A nice change. Yeah, as easy as that. I can see a spot there that I'm tempted to fill. Shall I fill it or shall I leave it? <laughs> shall I do the other one, which is much, much darker? Um, I pulled it out to dry. I'll just take those ends off. Now they're stuck to me. Shall I do this one as well? Might as well, seeing as I've cut all the bits out, haven't I? Right, we'll have a look at, we might even be able to cut that one up in a few minutes if we 
just give it a few minutes to uh, to settle. Right, let's see if we can make this one look different then. Birds. Shall we put, oh, shall we put the flower fairy on? Got to make an appearance sometime, haven't they? Um, don't know about that one. Now we've still got these two, haven't we, that I discarded. Quite like that. Did I call that a wheelbarrow? I don't know, I just had a feeling I called it a wheelbarrow. <laughs> it's a watering can, of course. I might not have. I might just be losing my marbles. Let's see if I've got anything else here that I haven't cut out that I want. There's another bird cage. Yeah, let's quickly cut the bird cage out. I thought when I did those I had more than enough. Well, obviously I did have more than enough for that uh, that one. I didn't intend to do two, but yeah, it'd be nice to use them up since I've cut them out. Make use of them rather than have them hanging about. Getting lost and getting in the way. <laughs> That's it. Didn't take too long. And then, because we were quick, we've got white bits. We'll disguise them. What white bits? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Obviously, that I couldn't. Just today was just a day when I couldn't cut those out. Didn't want to. Couldn't be bothered. Life was too short, <laughs> and I haven't. There we go. That's not bad, is it? Now they've been inked. Right. What did we say? This. Oops. No. We love him on here, but not amongst that bird cage. Um, I've got that little bird there, so I don't want another one. Just wondered about this. There's some flowers. Let's put some flowers on. Oh, that looks like a butterfly. Flower there. Flower there. Yep, let's use them all up. Another little tiny one. Not much doubt going on down here, is there? Another big bird I don't want, but another little flower. Butterfly on that one. Just have the big one going up and the small one going down. Right, and I've left myself with a large and a small advertisement and one blue bird. That's good from everything that I fussy cups. So I've used it all. And that's what I'm aiming to do these days. <laughs> yeah, I've got a small pile here still to be cut, but okay, let's go. Let's put them down and then cut that other one up. Oops, that sounds like my glue stick's nearly empty. And heading out. Oh, shook them all about. I'm not even going to ink these little flowers. Oops. Where was it there? So we've used a lot of things today, haven't we? Um, page and a half of digitals and um, a full, yeah, two and a half pages of digitals because there was that plain background that I used for, um, for the background, for collaging. Oops up to my page, that's it, change your page, that's it. and um, yeah another little pile of scraps gone, and two pages from this drawing book, 
new bird flying. So yeah, and we've got three master boards out of it. One in the book, just waiting for its opportunity, <laughs> and two about to be cut into pieces. Well, one of them definitely is. Don't think. Don't think this one will be dry enough to cut on this video. I'm sure you will see it starring in a cinema near you soon or on one of my films. <laughs> Keep sticking to those papers now. And the book. Where are we going? A bit further over there. Yep. Yeah, it's been a very quiet and str not strange but unusual Sunday. So I haven't heard lots of lawnmowers and things going, even though it's it's nice weather out there. I haven't heard lots of people. I can hear a car moving now, but I think that's probably our neighbour. It's not Neil. It's a long way off Neil's home time yet. Where are you going? Put him down. So he is also a paper um, flower fairy because he's from the the birthday book. So he's on uh, matte paper rather than the shiny the shiny book page that the treasuries are printed on. We had to have a flower fairy, didn't we? Of course we did. While they're all hanging about on my desk, <laughs> having a party, we might as well uh, press them into service, as it were. Just drop it down as if it's growing randomly. Another flower fairy. Yeah, definitely to go and wash my hands soon. <laughs> You've stuck down, you're not. Whoops. Come on, glue stick, keep going. We've not got much to do now. Where did we have you going that way? Yeah. Could there be anything easier? Oh, my glue's starting to disintegrate come apart on me and I'm getting clumps everywhere. Feels like there's one under that now. Have you just folded over on yourself, yes. Ugh, now I am sticky. <laughs> you look like you've got a white face, mister. That's better. Nobody wants a butterfly with a white face. Both of them. It must have been hard to cut round. Oh, there's nearly enough glue on my fingers to stick these down without without rubbing the uh, the glue stick over them. Are you stuck? No. <laughs> Anything else? Can you see anything else that's not stuck? There's only one way to find out. Oh, let's put that over that and tear. Anything not stuck? No, it all is. Lovely. Okay. So, I'll give you a close-up in a photo of that one in a moment so you can get to see it because this one I'm going to cut up. And, um, shall I cut it with the scissors? Let's see if we can just imagine. Um, there's a natural line up here where we're not really a natural edge, we're not harming anything. I'll do it with the um, straighten it with the chopper in a minute. Isn't that going to make a nice torn pocket? Um, 
I'm just going to cut it as a triangle for now and then very probably when it's dry because it's not dry enough rip it down to make it a torn pocket I'm really into the torn pockets at the moment so that will leave us with um, I wonder if we can go across there and then straighten it up oh, have to be a bit more than that <laughs> have to be more than that yeah just about got there yeah again it will want straightening on the uh, the chopper it's just going to be a small journal card by the looks of it you've not got any glue on you why not while well, we were throwing it about like a mad woman Yeah, I think that's going to be just a nice big tag. So, um, uh, I like this little bit here. I think the only way it can go is up there, really. So let's cut it up there. So that's a small tag, small journal card or tuck pocket and yeah we've got this now this triangular bit what we're going to do with that I think obviously that's got to be cut across there so that's either a postcard a pocket or a journal so this can be a um, yeah spot or a cluster and just get rid of that and that, that top edge yeah so we'll put some lace and stuff on that right let's just get the chopper out and straighten the bits we've done with the edges um yeah that'll make a nice cluster or tuck with some bits of lace on it and buttons and things like that that's a nice piece yeah we might have to um, finish them off as regards you know embell more embellishments in another video right I can do the edges of this I don't want to do the the torn bit until it's properly dry but that yeah that will be ripped down there to make a corner pocket um what did we say this was going to be a small journal card yeah that was a very wonky cut trying to keep me urn and it was never going to happen was it So that could always have a flower or something stuck on it now, couldn't it? If I hadn't have used them all. <laughs> Just seeing if I've got one here. Well, I've got one here I could cut up and stick on, haven't I? Yeah. Might as well. Don't want to see it half done, do we? I'll cut it really quick and make the, make the leaves less pointy than they are now. Don't be afraid to alter the uh, the shape of things, especially leaves and flowers, when you're fussy cutting them. Rather than driving yourself mad trying to to do a cut that's impossible for a human to do, just change the shape of it. Sometimes it looks better <laughs> than the original. See, nothing wrong with those. Um, yeah that's nice nothing wrong with those um, leaves at all and I've oops I've entirely changed the shape <laughs> to what they were anything else rolling that way my glue is empty you probably gathered uh, 
Yep, there we go. Um, hun, hun. Yeah, so this great big journal card. Um, this, what this needs, I've got a straight edge there. What this needs is uh, stitching around. Yeah, I sometimes find it easy to do it on the back and then you don't get too hung up on what you're cutting up and you concentrate more on getting it straight. And I think I've got exactly the same issue there. I want one of these big flowers on here. Have I got one? I've got this one in here. Let's have it. <laughs> Let's have this one. Cast the others off. Oops. And this is what I mean about using the bits from the kit because they all they all go with each other. So life is really easy. Needed something in that corner, and the obvious answer was one of the flowers. Instead of you know, oh, shall I find a postage stamp? Shall I try a, a butterfly? What else have I got? I've got flowers. Just something there. Grab and go. Yeah, it just fills that um, blank space in. Again, it's me in a blank space, you might not mind one. Right, that glue's empty. We are on to the, the purple stuff again. <laughs> Which is also not far off empty now, so that's a good job. Yeah, purple on the front of it. I mean, it will dry, but... Yeah, and that's got, um, whoops, throwing flowers on my knee now. When that's got stitching around, that's going to be a lovely big tag. Um, is that it? No. Nope. There's more, two more. We get quite a lot, don't we, out of these? Yeah, so let's straighten this and then see if you've got a straight edge anywhere. Hard to tell. <laughs> I'll just make it one. Yep. I'm not going to add anything to that. I think that, that brown behind it is quite striking. I like that just as it is. And again, that can be backed as a journal card or it can go on as a pocket and it's quite strong enough as a pocket. So I won't do anything to it until we decide where it's going. And then this is a tag, and I think this is a nice tag all on its own. Um, might make it tag shaped at the top. It was very not straight, wasn't it? That's it. Get rid of all those bits now. Oh, I don't know which is the most fun bit, the collaging, the cutting it up. Get off me. Oh, it's alive. I slammed those scissors down, didn't I? It's quite a noisy desk, this, because it's got metal legs. It's, I think that's perhaps why it it bangs so much. I might not, but might be wrong. Yeah, that's a very full on tag, but and obviously it needs backing. Maybe something there, the hole. Yeah, there's a nice tuck, a tag, either a pocket or a postcard. What will be a ripped corner pocket when it's dry. A very small, which way up our way, very small journal card. Or again, it could be a tuck or a small pocket. And a lovely large, Let's see where I can go. A lovely large journal card. Yep, yeah, and this, which I'll leave to dry a bit longer before I chop it up. Okay, thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up or comment in, in the comments. <laughs> Both help the channel. Um, yeah, pop back and see me tomorrow though. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.